In this video, we will look at the button control for Windows Form applications. All right, the primary use of a button is to generate an event. So when you click on a button, an event occurs. And that's really what buttons are used for. So buttons are a good control when you want to have something that will initiate work to be done in your application. Uh, some of the common properties and methods of uh, buttons are as follows. The text property holds a string value. And whatever string value you put into the text property, that's the text that displays in the center of the button. The enabled property is a Boolean property. When enabled property is true, then the button is usable. You can click on it and it, it works like you would expect. When the enabled property is set to false, you can see the button, but the button will be kind of grayed out. And you, if you try to click on the button, it will not, uh, you can't click on it anymore. The background and or the back color and four color property, I think those are self-explanatory. And the visible property, the visible property, if it is true, you will let you see the button and click on the button. If the visible property is false, then the button does not even show up. Some helpful methods you could use are the show and hide method. These methods basically just set the visible property to true or false. And then the default event associated with a button is the click event. And the click is the default event. Uh, it's really the, the most common event used for with buttons. So let's look at a couple examples here. Here I have a form application ready to go and I have my toolbox open. Again, if you do not see your toolbox, you can always go to View Toolbox and, and hopefully pull that up. The button is under the Common Controls. And here I'm going to take a button and drag the button onto my form. I'll go ahead and drag three buttons onto my form here. One, two, three. All right, so let's look at some of the properties we can set with these buttons. I'm going to make button one uh, have the text uh, first button. And when I change the text property of my button, notice that the text that is inside the button changes as well. The second button, I'm going to go and find the enabled property. Here it is, enabled property, and I'm going to set it from true to false. So button two will be should be not enabled; it should be disabled. And then, uh, let's see, button three. Button three, I'm going to go find its visible property and set visible from true to false. So button, first button is, I just changed the text. Button two is not enabled. Button three should not be visible. Now I can see them all in design view, but let's see what happens when I run my program. All right, let's look at the difference here. So my first button is just a normal button. I can click on it. I see a little click animation here. Button two is visible, but it's it's grayed out. And if I try to click on it, I don't get any click animation. I don't get any um, indication that I am interacting with the button. And then button three with the visible property set to false, I don't even see this button, right? So now let's register some events with each of these buttons. How about when we click the first button, on the first button click event, I'm going to set button two's enabled property to go from false to true. So we will enable button two. And then when I click on button two, I will make button three visible. And then when we click on button three, I will change the background color of the form. All right, so if I wanna re register the click event handler with a button, the formal way to do it is I can select the button, go to my properties tab over here in design view, click on events, find the click event handler, and then type in a, a method to handle the click event. So I'm going to say handle uh, button one click and hit enter. What I've done is I've registered a click event handler for button one and I have the the method uh, a kind of the method shell for the method to handle that event. So for example when I click on button one uh, click on button one what's going to happen? Well let's make button 2's enabled property, let's set it to true. That's the work that's going to be done when button 1 is clicked. 
All right, let's create, let's register an event, a click event handler for button two. Now I could go to the button two's click event and type in another uh, handler name or method name. But because the click event handler is the default event handler for the button, I can just double click on the button and a the click event was registered for button two. So if you want to give it its own uh, custom name, you can register it formally. If you just want a quick event to, to be registered, you can double click on the control. All right, so we said when we click button two, click on button two, what's gonna happen? Well, we said we were gonna set button three's visible property. It is default to false, but we're gonna set it to true. Okay. And then finally for button three, I'm gonna register a click event handler. I'm going to double click on it just to do the default handler. So we registered a click event handler for button three. And when we click on button three, what do we want to do? I'm going to set the forms background color to some, some new color. Alice blue came up, I'm just gonna go with it. Okay, so before we registered those buttons, uh, be before we registered those events to the buttons, clicking on the buttons would not do anything. But because I've registered an event associated with a click event on each individual button, now I have three different types of work that can be done. When I click on button one, I'm gonna change the enabled property of button two. When I click on button two, I'm gonna change the visible property of button three. When I click on button three, I should change the background color of the form. Let's try it out. Okay, so even though I registered a, um, a click event on button two, notice when I click on it, it the event isn't triggering. When the button is not enabled, then the events for that button are not uh, registered or not listened for. Same thing with button three. Button, button three is actually right here. It's hiding, it's not visible. But when I try to click on the space where button three should be, nothing's happening. But if I click on the first button, here what has happened is I've changed the en enabled property of button two so that it is now enabled. And now I can click on my button two. So when I click on button two, now I've set the visible property of button three to, to true. So now my button three is visible and clickable. When I click on button three, I've changed the background color of the form. Very slightly, Alice Blue wasn't much of a change, but hopefully you saw it. All right, so I hope this gives a quick little uh, introduction to how you can use buttons to generate events.